Hey guys, welcome back to another webcam unboxing and review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Unzano 1080p webcam. Before I begin, I want to thank Unzano for sending over the camera for my honest review. And I just want to clarify, even though that this product was sent to me, any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. Going right into the features of this cam, you're going to be getting 30 frames per second, x264 compression, 100 degree viewing angle, the ability to manually focus your camera, auto low light correction, and dual built-in noise cancelling microphones. In this video, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about this camera so you can decide if this is the cam for you. So in the box, we have the user manual, a cloth to clean the lens, and the webcam. Starting with the build, it's completely made of plastic with a two-tone black and gray finish with a glossy finish on the front of the cam. As you can see, it's pretty compact, coming in at three inches wide, one inch in depth, and one inch in height. Around the lens, there's a focus ring, which you can use to make your image nice and crisp, should the image be out of focus. Getting the camera into perfect position shouldn't be too difficult, as the camera has a bunch of different options to work with. First, we have the option to tilt the camera and rotate it 360 degrees. Then there's the mount on the bottom, which can be used on its own to position the camera on any flat surface. Using the thread on the bottom, you can mount it to a tripod and position it anywhere you like. Or you could just open up the mount and safely secure it to a desktop monitor or a laptop monitor. And on the back, we have a five foot non-removable USB cord to connect to your computer. But just keep in mind, since this is non-removable, if it does get damaged, you're gonna need to buy a new camera. While the camera does work with Skype, Teams, and Zoom, it's important to remember that they don't have the ability to adjust the image settings. To give an idea of how the camera may look under different lighting conditions, let's check out a few different video samples. Okay, so in this video sample, I have the room fully lit with four LED pot lights above me. And as you can see, it does a great job of maintaining all the detail. And when I move around, it, you don't see any blur. If I put my hand here, you don't see it blurring or anything or even distorting. So it's doing a good job maintaining that. Looking at the color accuracy, looking at my walls and to what I see in the image right now, it is almost exactly the same. So it does a great job with color accuracy as well. Okay, so in this clip right here, I've turned off all the lights and the only sources of light coming in right now is from the monitor directly in front of me and from the door behind me, just look at the little crack of light over there. As you can see, it does, once again, a great job of keeping the image nice and clear. Moving my hands around, there is some motion blur, but that is to be expected, especially in low light conditions like this. So in this clip here, I once again have my lights turned off, but this time I have my studio lights on, which consists of two softbox lights, one located on the left of me and one located on the right. And as you can see, my face looks pretty overexposed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use OBS to get this corrected because out of the box, you're not going to be able to adjust these settings. Okay, so now that we're in OBS, we're going to go into our camera settings. We're going to click on configure video. Once you open configure video, you're going to get all your different options. Here we could adjust the brightness, contrast, onto whatever output that you're looking to achieve. In my case, I'm going to go into camera control, and then I'm going to adjust my exposure here. I'm going to uncheck the auto. I'm just going to take it back. And now, as you can see, now I got a more natural looking video, which is my desired output. So we know that the camera works when attached to a computer, but what else can it be hooked up to? Well, I tried to connect it to three other devices. First, I tried connecting it to my Sony Android TV. The camera did work with the exception of the microphone, but the image wasn't as crisp as when it was plugged into a computer. Next up, I tried it with my Nvidia Shield. Both the camera and the microphone worked great, and there was a noticeable improvement in the video quality when making calls with Duo. For the last device, I connected it to my Xbox One, where I was able to use it for a Twitch live stream. To close out the video, I'm going to let you decide on how well the built-in microphone performs by giving you two different microphone samples, one that's recorded without any background noise, and the other one we recorded with people talking in the background. This is a microphone sample for the Unzanu 1080p webcam in a silent room. This is a microphone sample for the Unzanu 1080p webcam with people talking in the background. 
If you're interested in purchasing this webcam, you can find all the product links in the description down below. And while you're there, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.